All right, hey, what's going on, folks? Uh, Friday night here. It is Earthmaster here on the tube, and it is about 8.25 p.m. here, my time. August 30th, 2019, we are watching Hurricane Dorian come in uh, and inch its way ever so closely to the uh, Florida coastline there. Um, it is currently sitting at a Category 4 strength hurricane with winds of 138 mile per hour uh, sustained winds and gusts up to 157 miles per hour. So those gusts are reaching up to Category 5 strength hurricane uh, levels there. So we're watching this thing uh, pretty closely. This thing has gained a lot of strength within a short amount of time. There's not a whole lot of shear or anything in its way. Uh, there is a high pressure to the north, directly to the north, uh, and, and once it uh, makes its way further westward, it will be towards the northeast. Now the high pressure does have a play in the say-so of where this uh, hurricane is going to be headed, and uh, we'll check that out here in just a minute. I think this might be a benefit for the folks there in the state of Florida. Uh, a couple different weather models agreeing in agreement that uh, this thing could, uh, well, right before it makes landfall, uh, head sharply to the north. Uh, anyway, that could change uh, as it's changed since last night, since the last update. Uh, but right now you're looking at a live view of St. Lucie, Florida, the inlet region. Uh, it's nighttime, obviously, over there. Um, some dark skies. Looks like they have some type of night vision camera set up as well out there along the coastline. Uh, but during the daytime, it's absolutely beautiful view of the uh, Atlantic Ocean out there uh, around St. Lucie, Florida. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the first um, weather model, which is from the GFS weather model here. And this one here is the most recent updated information. I can go ahead and set this up here. Maybe possibly make this just a tad bit bigger for you folks out there. That way you can see a little bit better on the screen here. Uh, I don't want to make it too big. But uh, you guys get the idea there right there. We're in the southeast region there with Florida. Obviously sticking out like a sore thumb right there. Um, GFS version. This here is a predicted weather model. Weather forecasting model. Which I use uh, and many other weather people use this uh, weather model as well. Uh, it's tropicaltidbits.com. Also, um, there's a couple other ones. Uh, pivotalweather.com is another good one. There's all sorts of free weather forecasting models out there. Computer generated models that go on, on trends. Uh, they look at high pressures, low pressures. In this map, you can see obviously the high pressure out there in the North Atlantic there. Uh, sitting off the Virginia coast there. That's obviously spinning clockwise, right? So it's kind of steering uh, the hurricane, if you will, Hurricane Dorian, um, in this current direction right now. Low pressure obviously spins counterclockwise. High pressure spins uh, clockwise. Um, so yeah, you get a pretty good view of, of uh, the ingredients there. We're going to go ahead and put this thing into motion a little bit and take a look at the well, I'm really surprised this thing have, hasn't loaded yet. I guess we're going to go one step at a time. Uh, back over here is where it's about right now, right? Category 4. It does look to retain a more... Uh, well, it's already got a beautiful eye wall, but it does look to be strengthening a little bit. That's why I said it could reach Category 5 hurricane strength there. We're already seeing that with the wind gust. Um, and this is the GFS model. Take a close look, folks. Look at the eye wall right there. Right well, you know, it's just north of the Saint or the uh, port of Saint Lucie uh, region there, and um, yeah, it. it uh, I think a couple days ago I said pretty much the eye wall is going to make landfall right around the port Saint Lucie region, and it looks as though it's continuing. Uh, weather forecast models are continuing to be in agreement. Um, hold on one second here. I gotta put something on mute that we don't get interrupted. Alrighty, and so yeah, we're looking at that uh, still with the GFS model. Uh, the only thing that's different from yesterday's update uh, to today's update is a path. 
that this hurricane is projected to take. Now, yesterday we looked at a more westward trend, right, where the eye wall kind of hits the Florida region, continues inland a little ways, and then as soon as it hits about central Florida, makes a sharp turn to the north. This GFS model shows the eye wall going straight up the Florida coastline in a worst case scenario right now, right? That's a strong, very strong category four strength hurricane. Uh, like I said, possibility, the possibility is there of a category five. I'm not predicting it, but the possibility is definitely there. I would not be surprised. Um, just take a look at that loop there, folks. Take a look at the trend that that computer model is generating there. Now, the northward movement is due to the high pressure system scooting off towards the east a little bit there, off in the Atlantic. So, uh, no doubt it's getting pulled over, up, and over. Uh, there's a little dip over here to the west, a little low pressure trough that will probably squeeze it up to the north. That's what we're seeing right there. And if you look at that, that's the eye wall pretty much riding up the coastline of Florida in a highly populated region. Now that's kind of like the worst case scenario there. That's kind of like a bandsaw um, shred all type effect there. That's one of the worst case scenarios that I could see there from a weather model. Um, and then once it shreds Florida, it goes up along the east coast and just obviously dumps massive amounts of rain um, all along the eastern states there. Um, so that's the GFS model. Let's go ahead and take a look at the European model here. And hold on a second here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take a look at the European model, which is, uh, hold on one second. There we go. Let's see if I can get this thing going here. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. A little pause there in the environment. Um, so, yeah, European models differ. They, they're they not always in agreement with the American uh, GFS type version of forecasting models, but they're pretty gosh darn close. So, this one here doesn't have a lot of data to work with. It kind of skips the hour, hourly uh, trend as GFS does. Uh, more closely, but this one, at least the European version, shows a near miss of the state of Florida with uh, never making landfall uh, with the eye wall. Yes, there is some obviously uh, some high winds and heavy rain on the western side of Dorian, but never ever making landfall along the Florida coast. Um, you can see that kind of it does gain strength. It does show a massive wide hurricane, but sharply being pulled up um, before it makes landfall. That is kind of a good scenario. So right now we're looking at a worst case uh, and best case scenario on two different weather models. Um, obviously they both trend uh, once, once this hurricane is done with the Florida region, obviously being wrapped around uh, the, uh, the high pressure system that's being scooted off towards the east more. Um, and, and, and of course it's going to make its way uh, northeastward. But like I said, both of them are in agreement uh, after Florida. But right now the key focus that we're looking at is obviously which one's going to be correct. Is it going to be the GFS version, which shows a, uh, a worst case scenario of an eye wall riding the western part or the eastern part of Florida with uh, hurricane force winds around, you know, category four strength, possibly five. Um, and we're looking at, like I said, Port St. Lucie region northward. Miami looks to be in the clear. Uh, they got lucky this time. And uh, they're sitting out there, like I said, like a sore thumb out there in some hot waters that uh, tropical storms love. And uh, it's a perfect ingredient and environment for a major hurricane. And it uh, looks as though 
most and every single weather model that I've looked at shows a miss of Miami, which sits further south um, on pretty much every weather model. So uh, it's a good thing for that area. Uh, Port of St. Lucie, I can't say the same thing. And anything northward, um, all the way up into the uh, border line up here, um, all the way up to the border of Florida, it's, uh, it's looking very, very questionable on the GFS model. Um, so we're going to have to see what happens, folks. This is, like I said, a worst case scenario with GFS. Um, you know, I, I can't predict anything. I really don't think any man can predict anything where it's going to hit specifically. Computer models are generated to run off of trends and uh, like I said before, they look at pressure gradients and uh, wind speeds on the surface as well as the upper level. Um, right now, looking at satellite pictures, there is no wind shear on the upper level, so this thing really doesn't have a lot of shear at the moment. There's nothing stopping it. It's pretty much just uh, sailing down the stream, if you will, of the, uh, the warm waters out there along Florida. Uh, like I said, the only thing that's going to drive it to the north is a high pressure system there. Uh, to the northeast, and you can see the low out there in the Gulf of Mexico uh, generating some counterclockwise direction, um, which would steer that thing further to the north. So it's going to—it's an iffy, iffy situation here, folks. <laughs> I tell you why—it's going to—I can't, you know, kind of. I, I'm excited to see the outcome of this. I'm hoping for the best for Florida. Um, you know, I, I don't like seeing devastation. I don't like seeing damage. I don't like seeing people suffer. Um, I do like to see the power of nature, the power of, of weather. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping for the best out there in Florida. I want these guys to be safe and I want them to be, uh, to be able to go back to their homes. That's pretty much what I'm saying. Um, so let's hope the European model is correct. Um, I've always used the GFS type model in my storm hunting days, which it still runs. Um, but I've always found the GFS as uh, more accurate. But uh, you know, all I say is let's see what happens, folks. That's that's all that's all we can do right now. Um, and if you are out there. On the uh, eastern part of the uh, Florida coastline, you know, just hope for the best, and uh, we'll keep you in your keep uh, keep you in my thoughts and prayers, and hope for the best for everyone out there in the state of Florida. Uh, once again, as of 11 p.m. Eastern time, we are looking at uh, Hurricane Dorian at a tropical or at a uh, Category Four strength hurricane with winds of 100 and 38 miles per hour sustained winds gust up to the category 5 level of 157 miles per hour now this hurricane is going to take better shape as it uh, inches its way closer to the west there towards florida um, it's all it's already got a nice eye wall uh, but i have a feeling this thing's going to be a buzzsaw a bandsaw type of hurricane that's just going to look pretty scary on the satellite pictures uh, which it already does, but I think it's going to get a little worse. Um, but uh, we'll see what happens, folks. We'll see what Mother Nature wants to do, and that's all we can do from there. I'll provide another update tomorrow um, and see what the conditions are like then. In the meantime, live stream is up and running with the most recent Hurricane Dorian information and uh, a live view of. St. Lucie region, the inlet region in Florida, and uh, it's pretty dark out there. Some boats out there in the water, I think, or maybe some type of, uh, I don't know, maybe buoys or something out there. That's more than likely uh, correct. <laughs> All right, folks, have a safe night out there. Uh, if I don't talk to you before the weekend is over, please drive safe out there. It's a holiday weekend. Lots of people out partying. Please do it safely and uh, stay tuned here for further updates on Hurricane Dorian and uh, anyway have a good night everyone peace